Hello, welcome. Um, having a great time. <laughs> this event has been wonderful. I'm meeting a lot of nice people and everybody's asking me some interesting questions, which is always nice. I just wanted to make sure everybody, I want to welcome everybody to the Great American Online Craft Show. And my name is Pat Lentz. I'm an independent Norwex sales consultant and I've been doing this for about a year now and I love my job. Not many people can say they love their job. And I get paid to have parties, which is even better. And I, in my parties, what I, norm, what I really am doing is educating people on the different types of things they can eliminate, the chemicals in their home, and Norwex has the products that you can use to do that. Norwex is all natural. We try to eliminate all the chemicals in your home and chemicals in your care products for your body. But I just wanna go real quick. I won't go too quick, but I wanted to make sure if there's questions, please post them. And if I can't see this, my telephone too far away, so even with my glasses, so please bear with me. And if I don't see you post, I will get back to you after the live video. I will go back and read any questions and answer them. So I think I just want to make sure I introduce myself first. Like I say, I'm Pat Lentz, and I'm happy to be here. And the reason I started promoting Norwax I don't want to be a salesperson. Like I said, it's more educational. And then once you learn the difference, you you become a customer. You want to better your health for your family and for yourself and everybody in between. So um, there's three ways that we clean. First of all, um, we clean by chemical. That would be something like this. I'm not going to say a name brand. Uh, this is chemical cleaning, and this is a disinfectant. If you read all the little fine print in here, you'll see that what's made in here. And it is a dis dis disinfectant. It's nothing but pesticides. And it it's very harmful to you and your family and to the environment. Um, and it tells you, if you read the fine print, once you clean with these wipes, you're supposed to let it sit for four minutes and then go back and clean it with another cloth, a wet cloth, to, to remove this So, Because this is dangerous to anyone. And I know for years, I never wiped it clean again. I just left. I wiped with this. And I didn't know to wipe it off. And Because once it's on the surface, it stays. And then you're laying your other items. The kids drop food on the table and they're picking it up and eating it, which is really bad because it's con getting contaminated with this chemical. So that's how we clean chemical. And the other way is thermal. Thermal would be like steam cleaning, like you run a carpet machine to clean your carpets. That is thermal. And Norwex is all about mechanical cleaning. That means you're actually doing something to remove the dirt or to remove the bacteria. So, and that's what we do. We remove it. We're not killing it on the surface. We're actually removing it and you're taking it and you're rinsing it out of your cloths and it goes down the drain. That's what Norwex does. So I wanna first start with this talking about the Safe Haven 5. That is our, one of our go-to packages that people mainly start out with. So let me dip, show you what's in our Safe Haven 5 package. Okay, first of all, we have our wonderful cleaning paste. The cleaning paste is all natural. It, it will <laughs> remove stains from your gym shoes on around the, you know, the edge of your shoe, the rubber. It will remove marker from tile surfaces. It has multi, this is a multi-purpose cleaner. You clean, you use this to clean your oven. You use this to remove, uh, if you have a stainless steel antique or brass or bronze or whatever, you can use this with your Enviro cloth and to remove the, the dirt, the grime, the buildup on it, and it will look almost brand new, depending on how old it is. But I have cleaned my antique water pitcher, you know, and it was so, Disgusting. Look, it was silver, sterling silver. I used this 
and it took it looks like it's brand new I will post that photo later it, it looks wonderful and you can clean jewelry with this so it's a multi-purpose cleaner and it's made out of um oh I can't I can't think right now I'm a little nervous for some reason it's um mm, I know this was off my head oh uh, goodness gracious marble that's why I couldn't think of the word marble <laughs> this is awesome this is the best it's a polisher too. It's not just a cleaner, it polishes. So I want to make sure you're aware of that. This has no, let's see what it says. It has, it's fur. It has no phosphates, no chemicals, no poisons, no acids, nothing that's going to harm your skin or the environment. Hi, Susan. Glad you're watching. <laughs> and uh, plus it's what's in here. You, it's just, I mean, you would love to smell it. It smells really good. It's almond flour, a little bit of coconut oil, and natural soap. So, this is really nice. So, I'm going to lay that down there. So, that's one thing you get in your Safe Haven 5 is our cleaning paste. And you also get our wonderful dust mitt. And this works off of static electricity. So, you can rub it together against itself. Or you can have, if you have... Or handy dandy rubber brush. This is multi-purpose too. You would just rub the rubber brush against it for a few seconds, both sides, if you want to clean with both sides, and you just put it on like a like a mitt. You go around your dust. And this is great for dusting because it removes the dust. It's not just smearing it around. Like some of them other kind that's on a stick with a little, you know, swiffer. Um, that just gathers it sometimes. And I think most of the time. But this dust mitt will remove it. Because when you're dusting normally with a cloth or the Swiffer hand thing, um, you're also spraying most of the time. You spray polish on it. Um, and the polish is what attracts the dust. So the dust, the furniture polish or whatever you're using, if you're spraying something down to make it shiny, it's going to attract dust. But this here, you don't need anything. You just use it dry. And you dust away and you don't need a spray so you're saving money not buying a spray and plus this is going to remove the dust and the dust will stay gone for weeks promise you stay gone for weeks you won't have to dust a couple times a week it'll be weeks before you need to dust again because you're not spraying anything down then have that dust cling to this will remove it and it stays on the cloth and i will show you something with this in a second and then we have our wonderful window cloth it's pretty good size and it, all of our cloths have a tag on them and they tell you what they are so this one says window and it also has our backlock technology and our backlock technology is actual antibacterial it's a silver threading made throughout all of our cloths the only cloth that's not in I believe is our netted dish cloth because it's netted so it's in our cleaning cloths, it's in our face and body cloths, it's in our towels, it's in all of our cloths. So this is also a polishing cloth and it's drying cloth. Almost everything is a multi-purpose cloth. But let me show you what it goes with. It's like peanut butter and jelly, they go together. This is our Enviro cloth. It's a good size. And, and once again, it has a tag, whoops, it says, Enviro on it and it also tells you if it has the backlock made in it right there and it does Now our Enviro cloths we call our e-cloth for everything you can clean everything with this one cloth I can actually clean 90% of my home with this cloth and a window cloth So you wet your Enviro cloth you can use it dry but most people wet it you wet the cloth you fold it in half you fold it in half again so you have eight clean sides so if you get this side dirty, you flip it over to here. You got that side to clean with. That's too dirty. You flip it again. You have this side. Then you have this side. Then you turn it inside out and flop it over. You have four more sides. So you have eight sides that you can use, which makes it really nice. And this cloth is so dense that fibers are really tight. Usually a microfiber cloth, the size of the threading is like one twelfth of an or maybe one one six size. I think it's one twelfth. One twelfth size of a human hair. 
our cloth, the threading is one two hundredth size of a human hair. So it's very tiny and tightly woven. And plus our, our threading is like, it's almost a star shape. So it's really tight and it's got that little star shape so it really grabs onto everything. So, and I'll demonstrate that with our raw chicken demo in a little bit. So the cloth, whatever you clean in here will stay in here. It will not transfer to another surface. If you're cleaning something okay, and you think, oh, it's gonna stay on here, and you're gonna go wipe something else and you're afraid it's gonna get on there, it won't. It will stay in the cloth. The way to get it out is to rinse it out. And all of our cloths have the backlock technology, like I said. That's the silver that's embedded in the threading. And that's what they use in hospitals to keep the bacteria down. So these cloths will remove 99% of bacteria. So it's not killing the bacteria, it's removing it. So I wanna make sure you understand that. So you get the viral cloth, it's partner. This right here is our ba basic package, the viral cloth and the window cloth. But okay, and they come in the kit with the Safe Haven 5. So you got these two, got our cleaning paste, and think for a minute. Then we have our dusting mitt. Then last but not least, we have a bag of our laundry detergent. And this stuff is awesome. It has no fillers. And that's what you want to do your laundry in. You don't want fillers. Um, this will last you for four to six months. Most people can buy two of these bags and last them a whole year. Um, I, we always recommend you don't go by the measurements on the bag because most of us Consultants have already tried and true and tested all this. We can use a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon per load. And that's a lot of loads in a bag if you go by half a teaspoon or a teaspoon. And the difference is if you have a high efficiency washer or a normal washer. So if it's high efficiency, high efficiency, easy for me to say, you can get away most times with just a half a teaspoon of detergent. And you'd be amazed. I mean, this, like I say, it's great. There's no fillers, no phosphates, nothing in here that's going to harm you and nothing that's going to stick into your clothes. Because I think I posted, hopefully everybody's been watching my post, um, it only takes 26, 26 seconds for anything to enter your bloodstream. Like you're touching a chemical or the wipes, like I showed you before. If you're cleaning with these, you're getting it on your hands because it recommends to use a glove. Most people never use a glove. So it takes 26 seconds for that to soak into your skin and get into your bloodstream. So that's not good for anybody. So I want to make sure everybody was aware of that. So the Safe Haven 5, like I said, there's great options in here. Everybody needs a Safe Haven 5 package. Like I said, when you buy it by the package, it's cheaper. You save money by the package. And if you go up one level, the Safe Haven 5 Plus package, you get all of this that I just showed you, all of this stuff, plus you would get a package of our face and body cloths. There's three in a pack. This is normally $21.99 for three body cloths. And these are awesome. You clean your whole body with this. I use mine for the shower. I use one, if I'm at my bathroom sink, uh, my vanity, I use one. I have one hanging there that I use every morning and every night just to clean my face. No soap is needed. This has the antibacterial agent built into the fibers in the cloth. It removes 99% of bacteria, and your skin will love you for it. If you have bad acne or if you have eczema or if you just want to make your skin feel better, you need a face and body cloth. And you can actually shave your legs by using this cloth with nothing but water. You don't need any shaving cream. You just take this, if you're in the shower or the tub, you wet, of course your cloth is going to be wet. You rub it up and down your legs. Then you just shave with your razor. You will not have any razor burns or anything. It's amazing. But that's another way these things work great. So you get that with the Safe Haven 5 Plus package. You also get two of our Spiri sponges. These are, they come in a pack of two. These are great for your kitchen, bathroom, wherever you want to scrub. These are a little scratchy. 
and these come in a packet too, like I say, and these are used for any, you can use them on pots and pans, you can use them on the top of your uh, stove top, I mean, any place. But these are nice to have. You use them with your cleaning paste and you're good to go. Just a little water on the, and wet this, rub it on the cleaning paste, and you start scrubbing. You can also, let me finish this first, I was going to say something else. Okay, so that, and plus, you get a full-size dish towel. This is our dish towel. And like I say, every cloth has what it's for. It tells your kitchen, and it tells you it has a backlog in here. This is how long our dish towels are. They're good size. And this is the ribbed dish towel. I'll show you the difference in a second. I have a different kind. And you also get the kitchen dish cloth. And this also says kitchen. So in case you forget what they're for, you can always look at your little tag. And these tags are great for hanging your cloths. You just hook them on a hook and they'll hang to dry. So that's what you get in the Safe Haven 5 Plus package. The dish, dish towel, dish cloth, two spear net, I mean, spear sponge, a pack of face and body cloths, dusting mitt, bag of laundry detergent, jar of cleaning paste, and the basic package, which is the Enviro cloth and the window cloth. So that's the Safe Haven 5 Plus, which is great. And let me just show you the difference between the kitchen cloths. I'll use the cloth instead of the towel, it's easier. Um, the cloth here, this is our ridge cloth. So you can see how it's like ridged and it's on both sides like that. And they're wide, but it still picks up stuff great. And, and these have the backlog made on them too, so that it's removing 99% of bacteria from whatever you're wiping. And this is here is our textured dishcloth. It has tinier ridges on one side, but this side here is more like a little diamond shape or snake skin shape maybe. But this here, both of them clean. I mean, you can use them as a dishcloth and the butter if you want to. I don't use these to wash my dishes. I mainly have them hanging. I wipe my counters off with them. Or if I spill something, I wipe it up with this. They, they really hold a lot of water too. So that's the difference in the cloth. If you want it textured or ribbed, they both work wonderfully. I just wanted to show you the difference in them. Let me move this to the side real quick. I know it's getting, I don't know how long people are going to be on, so I'm going to do the demos first before I go into any of the products. So we can get that done. Oh, I'll show you. What we're going to do first, I'm going to do our, I'm going to have a mirror here. And I have my, I have a window cloth. And your cloth, you really want to always use them. Fold it in half, fold it in half again, so you have, now this, I have eight clean sides. So I'm gonna just wipe my window. My window. <laughs> I'm so used to cleaning windows with these. And this is just a mirror, as you can see. And it's a dirty mirror. It's got fingerprints all over it. But I'm gonna make it even dirtier. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use, I have some butter here. I use this all the time. So I have it in a baggie. Use it for my demos. So I'm gonna take my butter out of my baggie. And what I'm gonna do, here's the mirror. And you can watch me. I'm just going to scribble up the mirror. And how many people are going to put butter on their mirror? But, you know. So, there's the butter on the mirror. I have to put more, but it's not necessary. I think that's a good, good amount for that little bitty mirror. So, what I'm going to do now, I have over here an Enviro cloth. And it's wet. It's just a different cloth than what was in the box. Just different color. They come in different colors. Once again, you see it says Enviro. And it also has a back lock. And this one's wet. So I'm going to fold it in half. Fold it in half again. And I'm gonna, you want to use the flat surface. You don't want to crunch them up to clean things. You want it flat. Because you want it, things to stick inside the, the cloth. You want it to, the cloth to pick it up. Hi, Adele. So you want to take it in your hand. Get a hold of my mirror. And what I'm going to do. I'm just going to swipe down the mirror and swipe it back around. And already, the butter's gone. It's in my cloth. Now what I do next, 
I take my window cloth to dry it. And like I say, once before, it's also a polishing cloth. So it's going to really make it shine. So it's already dried. Oops. Like I say, you don't want to crunch it. You want to keep it flat. Okay. And you can see it's really shiny. Hopefully you can see it. I'm seeing reflections everywhere. So it's that easy. If you go around your whole home, clean your bathroom mirrors. You don't need to put butter on them. Just use your wet and viral cloth with water, no spraying, and dry it with your window cloth. And you can do your whole house, the mirrors, the windows. You'll be amazed. Also, you can clean your uh, kitchen faucets. Just wet them with that. You don't even have to use it really. You don't have to even wet the viral cloth to do your kitchen faucets or the bathroom faucets. You just take this window cloth and you go around them. It's polishing them. They look so shiny. Brand new. Let me move this out of the way. Okay. And moving on. <laughs> I'm going to get one drink here real quick. It is amazing, Susan. It really is. Talking fast and so much, getting thirsty. So let's see what else we got here. I oh, I'm gonna keep this together. I'm gonna keep the butter on the one side that I had it on. So okay. Made my rubber brush out of the way. So that was our Safe Haven Five, and you just seen how the butter removed with the cloth and this. So now I'm going to show you also. Or gets any too late. This is a raw piece of chicken, okay? I got my two plates here. I'm gonna set the towel down to put that on. These are clean plates. And what I'm gonna do, I open that. And what I have here, I had to keep this cold. This is um a swab. This is one of these swabs that they use. The health inspectors use this came from a lab i order we order these all the consultants order these from a lab they have a solution in the tip that we have to break open to go down into the q-tip area but this here shows you if it's clean it should it should turn green hopefully you can see that the guide on it it's green gray purple and a really dark purple we don't want to see a dark purple we want it to say green so that keeps means it's clean so what I'm going to do is take the raw chicken and we're going to rub it on the plates. <laughs> I, <can> get my <laughs> I can't open my thongs. <laughs> I don't want to touch the chicken with my bare hands. So we're going to take the chicken. Ooh, let me shut this down. I don't want to splatter any chicken juice on my laptop just in case. So we're going to take the raw chicken. I mean, here it is. I'm going to try to drain a little bit of the juice off, but that's what we want. We want the juice on our plate. Okay. So, we take the chicken and just rub it on here. Okay. Nice and juicy. Ugh. I don't like raw chicken. I like it fried. <laughs> I don't like it raw. So, that's what we're doing with the chicken for now. I'll show you what we're going to do with the other plate in a second. Let me just put the lid on this so I don't spill it. Sorry about that. Okay, so we have it here on our plate. It's all dirty. I'm going to take my wet and viral cloth. I'm going to use the side that has the tag so you see what side I'm using. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to clean my plate. I'm just going to wipe my plate with my cloth. Oops, I got hooked on the end. So I'm going to just keep wiping this for a second. All the chicken juice is now going inside my cloth. It's off my plate and it's in here. I'm just going to lay it down right here. You can see I'm laying it. I'm not going to be switching cloths or anything. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to do my, I'm going to take this, I'm going to pull this out of here, the swab, and here's the container right in front of me. And we're going to just swab our plate. And then we're going to put it back in the tube and break the seal and get the solution down inside to see if the plate is clean. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, I think that's good. So I put it back inside the container, maybe. Here we go. 
and then I'm gonna break my seal. You can hear it crack. And then I'm gonna squirt down the solution. And if you can see that, it's green. My Enviro cloth removed the bacteria from the chicken. Well, actually, protein. And protein is smaller than bacteria. So, our plate's clean. So what now I'm gonna do, I'm laying it right back here. Move that out of the way. And the, this here is what we cleaned with. The side here, it's got the tag. So I'm gonna take the same cloth that has the chicken juice in it and wipe this plate. So now I should be putting the juice on here, right? Now we're gonna test that. We're gonna take my swab back out and it's, it's clean. If it's dirty, it's gonna turn this swab purple. So, I mean, don't wanna lose my juice there. Let me set that up. I wanna stand it up here. Maybe, hmm. Okay, so got the swab. Just gonna swab the plate that we just wiped up with the, with the dirty cloth. Okay, I think that's good. So now I'm gonna stick my stick back in here. Oh, I think I got more juice in there. I didn't get it all down in there. And we're gonna just shake it up. And you can see, it's still green. Our plate is clean. Even though I took my cloth that had chicken juice on it and rubbed it on another plate. So that means if I spilt some on my kitchen counter while I was cutting up chicken, I could take this cloth and wipe it up. And I, oh, there's a piece over there I missed. I can go over there and wipe. I'm not transposing any of this bacteria or protein to another area. It stays within the cloth until you rinse it out. So just wanna make sure everybody knows that. So now, here's the test. I want you to make sure you know this, this thing is working. So what I'm gonna do, I'm taking it back out of the container. I'm laying it right here. I'm gonna open my chicken back up. Eee, forgot, should have just left it open. So now we're gonna see if it really does show the bacteria or the protein. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna dip it in the chicken, rub it on the top of the chicken. That's all I'm doing. And it's already turning purple it's just by touching the chicken. So I'll put it back in here. Right away, it turned purple. Dark purple means bad. So you don't want to see that in the restaurant for sure. Um, but this is the swabs that they use when, they, when the health inspector goes through the restaurants and cleaning and checking things for to make sure it's clean. So just want to make sure you know, look how dark that is. Can you see that? It's almost black. So, they were working. Uh, so, that was my chicken demo. Hope everybody enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It, it amazes me every time I do it. So let me move this stuff here out of my way. Then we'll continue on. Let me get this out of here. Sorry. Let me just sit it down here on the floor. Underneath here. Okay, so that's that was the chicken demo, and we did the butter on the mirror demo. Next, what I'm gonna do? Oh, maybe I'll save that for last because I don't want to do that yet. I, I'm gonna show you the how the face and body cloth removes makeup. I have makeup on. I guess you can see. Um, primer, concealer, you know, makeup, <laughs> and mascara, lipstick. But I do have permanent eyeliner, so if anyone says, oh, it didn't get your eyeliner off, well, it's because it's permanent. It's been permanent for over 20 years, so just so you know. Um, but let's just move on. Let me show you a couple things about our laundry detergent real quick and our glove or cleaning ah, or dust mitt. I'm sorry. Okay, so here's our laundry detergent. It comes in powder and also comes in liquid. And this comes with a pump, so you just pump it. And it only takes a couple pumps per load. The difference in this is this has live enzymes in it. And so you don't want to keep it in the sun. You're going to keep it in a cool, darker area. I mean, it can stay in your laundry room, just as long as it's not sitting out on a shelf and the sun's beating down on it, because you don't want to kill the enzymes in the, in the detergent. This is, a lot of people that have babies or have somebody that's always having stains on their clothes, this is great for that. So it removes all kinds of stains. 
So I just wanted to show you the difference in the detergents. And also, let's, speaking of detergents, this is what I used to use for years, my whole life. My mom probably used this brand. I know my grandma did. So, and I won't name names, but it's the blue stuff, you know. And this is the liquid. And if you look in the bottom, all that stuff floating around, that stuff's in that detergent that you're washing your clothes in, and that's sticking inside your clothes, then your clothes are on your body. That means these chemicals are seeping into your skin. And that's formaldehyde, all kinds of stuff. It's nasty. So that's the liquid. Now, here is the same brand, but it's powder. And look at the stuff in the powder after it's set. I mean, this is only set for a couple months, but still, look at that. I gotta let it sit for a year and see how it goes. But look at that, like, that's all nasty stuff. And that stuff just, like I say, it settles into your clothes. It doesn't rinse out. And then you're wearing your clothes, so it's going into your skin, into your bloodstream. Here is our Ultra Power Plus, the powder. It's clear. Look at that. Nothing floating in there. And I'll show you, it still has suds. If I shake it, you can see the suds. It's great. This stuff is awesome. It's clear, it's cl and it has no phosphites, no fillers, and it won't harm you. That's the best part. And this is what you want, really. You don't have to buy our detergent to clean your cloths, but that's what we recommend. And because you don't want to buy all of our cloths and then use your blue detergent, because that blue detergent, all the fillers in it is going to clog up your cloth. It's going to make it not work like it's supposed to. So if you buy a detergent besides ours, you need to read the package. You need to make sure it has no fillers. And they are a few detergents out there, but most of them have some types of fillers. So I just wanted to demonstrate and show you the difference in our detergents. So I'll move this back out of the way. Isn't it awesome? It's great. So, let me move this. Sorry, just have to rearrange a little bit. So, we got through that, and I'm going to show you how well our dust mitt picks up. Let me get one over here hanging. I'll use my blue one so it will show up better. I'm going to rub it with my rubber brush for a second. You don't have to do this with a rubber brush. I could just take it. And go like this, rub it together. You just want to make sure it's got static electricity in it. That's all. Okay? And then, well, before I put it on, I'm going to do this because I might be able to open this with that on. This, I maybe I should just do, I don't know if I have a white surface, but hopefully you'll still be able to see it. This is just some paprika. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on the table. And then we're going to pick it up with the dust mitt. Ooh, it might make me sneeze. So, got my dust bit. It's all gone off my table that quick. And there it is, stuck to my mitt. It will stay in the mitt until I take my rubber brush and sweep it off, or if I take it over to a sink and wipe it off, or, you know, it's not gonna come off. If I go like this, it's not coming off. I can go like this all day. It's stuck in my mitt. That's what the dust will be when you dust with one of these. You'll love it. And you can clean with these wet also. If you wet it, you can get like, clean your blinds, go inside the blinds, or your outdoor screens, cause it's getting warm, it's getting springtime. So you wanna clean those screens without taking them out. You get a dust mitt and you wet it. And you just go up and down the screen and you'll be amazed at how much black you get on your dust mitt from the year before or wherever you had it stored. So you don't have to take them out and hose them off to buy them. You use a dust mitt wet. Okay, let's see what else I want to show you real quick. Not real quick, because I still have some time here. Let me see what time it is. I don't know how long you've got. Oh, I've only been on 36 minutes. I'm doing pretty good. I might slow down a little bit. So, um, next, let's see. I don't know. Do you have something particular you want to see? Um... I do want to show you the mop, though. That's another thing I want to show before we go into a lot of the other areas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just turn my phone a little bit, and then we'll look at the mop. 
Oh, I see something here. I just realized I don't have my larger um, light on. Don't know if I need it or not. Let's see. I don't think I need it. Okay. Anyway, let me, oh, didn't turn. Come on, you gotta turn. There you go. Maybe that's good. Let me see. I'll bring it over here a little bit. Oh, it's still not enough. Hold on, sorry. It'd be nice if I could see from this side what it's seen, but I can't. Okay, so now you can see over here in the corner, that's where I have two mops right now. Okay, now these, our mop does come in two different colors. This is the nautical color. It's more like a champagne color. And this is our, this is our normal color, the blue and green. Both are, they both work the same. Just two different colors, your choice. And what I've got here is our superior mop. It's pretty big. So here's how big the pads are. It will cover a large area. Right now I have the dry pad on. This is our dusting pad. It's, this is more like the dust mitt for your floors or walls, whatever you want to clean with it. And you can do the same thing with this. Rub it together before you stick it on the on your platform here, or take a rubber brush and go up and down it, get it, start that static electricity. So you can go around and sweep your floors and that, it'll pick up. You'll be amazed what picks up and sticks on here. And then you just, you can just rip it off. Go to your trash can. I want to knock this over. You go to your trash can. Like I said, if you have the rubber brush, whoops, my mop. You just go to the trash can and dust off what you just picked up. That's simple. Okay. And that comes with, also comes with the, a wet pad. To, this is what you actually mop with. You just run it under some warm water. And then you're underneath the sink. Then you just take it like this and wad it up to wring out the water. Get it as much as you can out of the pad. We're not cleaning with the water. You gotta remember that. We're cleaning with the cloth. It needs to be a little damp, but it don't need to be soaking wet. You don't wanna you know, make your floors a sopping wet. So you get this wet. You just flop this pad down on the floor. You take, cause there's Velcro on here. There's Velcro, not Velcro, but it's a net on the other side and it sticks to the Velcro. Let me just get it easy and I'll show you. <laughs> I'm a little crooked here. Okay, so now here's the mopping pad, the wet pad. So I'm, I'll be ready to mop. I just put it on the floor and you like to clean in a figure eight. That helps pick up the dirt, okay? You wanna mop in a figure eight motion. And this is adjustable, different heights. So you just, oh, sorry, you twist it down to here. Look. It's great for grandkids. They love it. <laughs> Mine does anyway. <laughs> then you raise it up. You can go all the way up. It goes really up to here. I mean, and I'm 5'7". So if you're really tall, this is great. Or you can leave it short. Wherever you want to put it. It's up to you. And this here also... Let me get it out of the way here. Let me show you the smaller one. This is our, I have, this one's the mini mop, okay? Let me adjust it down. So, so this is, they're both adjustable. So you just stand on the base. As you're standing on your base, you hold on to it, you give it a little twist and pull it up, and then you twist it the opposite way, and it locks it in place. So, and each of them have this rubber tip on the, the ball. This will help remove scuff marks. If you have a scuff mark on your tile, or on your woodwork, you can take this and rub it across it. It removes it so just so you know that and this also comes with different mitts I mean different mitts <laughs> different pads now this is the wet pad and the same thing you would just wet it underneath the sink roll it out wring out the water put it back on you're good to go this the mini mop a lot of people like it because it's smaller it's easier to get into small places like around your toilets or if you're you know, just a smaller area, a lot of places, but in a, both the mops, oh, I have my, uh, I have extenders on here. 
take them off. Um, this here locks in place. It has a lock on here. Let me lock it and show you what it does. I can get it up there. I can't see if you're looking. Okay, because now you see it's only going to swivel this way because it's locked. It won't go side to side. If I unlock it, it go this way and this way. So, and we have different pads for this too. We have the dry mop pad, the wet mop pad. We have a tile mop pad. This is a little more coarse. If you have tile, this really works great. Then we have a Chanel. I don't, I don't have my Chanel one. Where'd it go? Oh, goodness. I must have left it downstairs. But here's a big one. This one goes, this is the older one that went to my large mop. It's, don't have this color anymore. Did you see me? I was standing over here. I forgot to move my phone, but I don't know. Hopefully you saw me. Um, this is the large Chanel pad. You see the little nubbies? This will pick up all kinds of dirt too. It's nice for dusting. So that's the Chanel. And then this one here is our window cloth. It's like the window cloth. It's like, the, it's for cleaning windows, but it's for your mop. So you would just wet your window with your Enviro cloth and this will dry your window. You go down, this hooks right onto your bottom of your mop. You'll be able to reach really high with it. These are really great for if you have really tall windows. So that's those. And we have our wonderful, let me move back the phone around a little bit. I think I got centered again. Maybe a little bit too much over that way. I don't know. But this is our Enviro wand. It's very soft. It's flat on one side, nubby on the other side. And this removes all kinds of dust. It gets into small places. So you can get in underneath your uh, refrigerator, in between your refrigerator and cabinet if it's of space. Um, and it's also flexible. It bends. This is great for cleaning your ceiling blades. Ceiling blades, your fan, <laughs> the blades on your ceiling fan. <laughs> so this is great. And this, this is our new color for, this, this one just came out in um, January, the teal. The other color was our green, which is still nice. And you can still get both, I think. Now this here, the handles do come off. So you're gonna make this another tool. You can put your mop base onto this handle so that's something, or you can take this off. Let me take it, let me see if I can get it off. They're new, it's new, so it's, I haven't taken it on and off enough, I don't think, to get it off quicker. <laughs> Plus I have a cut on my one finger, which doesn't help. There you go. So this handle pops off. I can put this on my mop handle and go really high. If you've got real tall ceilings and you've got corners you can't reach, you can reach it with this when it's hooked to your mop handle and also in this handle you twist it there's a little brush a little cleaning brush it's great for like your keyboards it's great to get into small crevices like in your window seals so that's a new thing they have so like i said this does hook on to the base of your mop and makes this extended or this way either way it's great so, let's see, what else? Um, I want to show you. So, like I said, there's five different pads for the mop, just so you know. The dry, the wet, um, the Chanel, the tile, and um, dry, wet, Chanel, the tile, and the mop. The window pad, not the mop, but the window pad. So, there's five different pads that you can purchase for your mop, but the mop always comes with two. Okay, let's switch over real quick for, let's go back to the kitchen maybe. Um, I don't know if anyone's aware of these. This is one I have in my kitchen. It sits in my window above my sink. I just brought it up to show you how many you can fit in here. These are our counter cloths. It's the size, if you have a paper towel, you know how they, they're made where you can cut them in half, pull them apart in half instead of a whole one. 
This is the size of our counterclaws. Hi, Michelle. Um, so this is the size of the counterclaws, and these have the black backlock technology made them too. Oh, they're wonderful. Use this all the time. My grandkids love them because when they come in, they get their hands sticky. I just grab one of these out, wet it. Each have their own, you know, and they know how to wipe their hands on it. And they give them back to me and I rinse them out. I can hang it right over top of my little house to let it dry if I wanted to. But they also have a little tag. Tag's not in the same place as the other ones. It's just like the top and the middle. But it's still, you can hang it like this to dry. And they have the back lock. I think I said that once. So they will self-purify in 24 hours. All of our cloths that have the back lock self-purify themselves as they dry within 24 hours. So you're ready to use them again. Not have to worry about it not picking up the, the bacteria. <laughs> yeah, they are great. I love them. And our counter cloths come in a pack of three. And they'll hold a lot more than a couple. I go on and see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. I have twelve in here right now. So they hold a lot. I just wanted to share those because those are great for your kitchen. Especially if you're trying to save the environment with the paper towels and the landfill. And these are reusable. So you just wash them out and use them again. So, and another thing for the kitchen is our spear net. This is great. These are stainless steel, little balls. This will replace your SOS pads. And these are awesome. You just get them wet, get your... I put my jar of cleaning paste away, but you get your cleaning paste and you wet this and dab it in your cleaning paste and you go to town. You can scrub your oven, the glass door of your oven, inside the oven. It will be spotless. These work awesome. So they come in a pack of two. So, and they last a long time, like I say, because they are stainless steel and they, they're not rough on your hands, I don't think. Um, like a SOS bed, have a little splinter and they get stuck in your fingers. You get stuck with the, you don't get that with these. And let's see. Um, let's talk about our body cloths again. Just want to show you. Here's one pack. It's a multicolors. These are really nice. They're very soft. And they, like I said, they come in a pack of three. And if you look online, you can see that they, there's a variety of colors. And they even come in stripe or solids. Here's 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 our graphite gray. This is a uh, teal stripe with vanilla. And this is our graphite with vanilla stripe. And they're all wonderful. Can't say enough about these. And some people prefer just the flat, you know, these kind. Some prefer the ones with the stripes because they're a little more rigid. They're not rougher on you or not anything, but some people are like one or the other. Or I have both, so I'm not convinced either one does anything differently. So they're great, though. Let me show you the size of the back towel. Okay, while we're here talking about baths. So this is a hand towel. It's good size. This is a bath hand towel. It's, it's pretty big. And these have a little loop in them, so they hang like this. I have, and they have a tag on them, I'm telling you what they are. It says on here, it says body, but it's really your bath, because it's for the bathroom, so they say body, but it's your hand towel for the bathroom. And I have mine, this is actually mine out of my master bath. I have it hanging right directly beneath my counter, my vanity on the doorknob. So I have it on both sinks. I have one of these hanging. So if someone's there washing their hands, they can just reach down and try. All oh, simple as that. And these have the back lock made in them, so they will self purify in 24 hours. And here is a bath towel. I'll show you how big it is. It's pretty good size. I mean, I don't know how high it is. I can't read, you know, it's good size. This is a bath towel. <laughs> so if you can see it, uh, it's pretty long. And I think on online, I don't remember the dimensions, but it tells you online. And it also has a little loop in the middle. 
So you can hang it either across the, you can hang it across the bar, of course, or if you want to hang it up on a hook, you can because of it having that little loop. So, and like I say, all of our towels and cloths have the backlock made in them. So you don't have to launder these things every time you use them because once they dry in 24 hours, they're ready to go again. They're self-purifying. So you don't launder them every week. I don't. Not unless you, I mean, if you're really dirty, I get, I don't know. But these will stay clean for, for a long time because they do self-purify. And, and you find it there, if you want to hold it up, and if you smell them, they should still smell clean. If you start thinking, oh, my towel stinks, then it's time to wash them. Throw them in the laundry. Throw them in a the dryer. They're washable. And like I said, you can get our Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent to clean all your cloths, which is what I do. Most people do. Or buy your own, as long as it's filler free. Because once it, if it has fillers, you're voiding your warranty too. These cloths are guaranteed for two years. So you don't want anything to happen to them. So, because they will void the warranty if you use a detergent that has fillers. Just so you know. And uh, now this is a pack of our travel and viral cloths. Just like the big one I cleaned the plates with. These are travel size. Let me show you the difference. And they're the little tiny ones, but they work the same. They still have that tight woven weave and they have the backlock made in them. And it says on here, it just says Enviro and backlock. So you know what it is. These are nice to, to keep in your car, on the go, keep one in your purse, keep one in um, a little bag. Let me show you. have these bags that you won't sell too I think I think it's in the warehouse sale or the retired items product sale one of these little zip bags it's like a little and it's really nice soft on the outside waterproof on the inside so you could take one of these if you know you need it put it in here you can put it in there wet damn not soaking wet put it in there and zip it up and you're good to go a little wristlet Take it to the beach, take it wherever, and this is nice to have. So those come in different types. Here's a gray one. That one only had the one zipper. These come in two zippers, one on each side. So well, I've got one of these inside my purse. I keep the Enviro cloth on one side. I keep it dry, but I could put one in there wet because it's waterproof on the inside on both sides. In this side, I have some gloves in case I need it and plus an extra face mask because if I'm out here's my face mask let me show you how well it fits this is my face mask it was pretty good size it covers underneath your chin and right underneath your eyes and it doesn't fog my glasses when I'm talking so I can keep this on for hours I can breathe it doesn't fog up my glasses I love them and right now we have our face mask on sale. You buy two for the price of one, and we in Norwex is donating one. So just so you know that. But the two have to be of the same sign. Let me show you what the designs are. Okay, there's a package. Our designs are, we have the floral, of course, just saw. Let's see, it's close, it's very pretty. And then we have geometric design. I don't know if you can see it. It's very slight, but it's nice. The guys like this. And this one is a like a blue camo. This is cute too. Girls or guys can eat, wear any of these. Well, I don't know if the guys who are the floor, but the girls can wear all any of these. They're great. They're all the same size, but they're like I say, they're on sale. But you have to buy the same. You get two for the price of one, but you're gonna get two floral or two geometric or two blue camo for $14.99. And they usually sell for $14.99 each. And plus, like I said, they're donating one every time someone buys the set. 
so, which is really nice. Throw them back in there. Like I say, I love these little packages. Okay, let me move that out of the way. And also, go back to the bathroom. I'm sorry, I'm jumping all over the place. I just forgot I had this in here. This is our scrub mitt for the bathroom, for your body, not for the walls. We have a scrub mitt for the walls too, but it's the soft on one side and scrubby on, on the other side. This will help exfoliate your skin. And this side is, you go wash with this, side. you just flip it over. So this side is like our face and body cloth. So it's great. Um, plus, speaking of exfoliating, our face and body cloth does that too. As long as you have it wring out most of the water, you will exfoliate your skin. And you can shave your legs with it, but you want to keep it really wet when you do that. You run it up and down your legs while you're in the shower or in the tub, then shave with no shaving cream. It's awesome. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? I'm trying to show you some of the things that we have on sale, too, in the warehouse sale. This is one I'm thinking. I don't know if this is still a, This might be in a retired list. Um, hi, Teresa. This is our Lazare hair care system. This is a travel kit. It has the nourishing shampoo, the nourishing conditioner, and it has... The protecting spray. If you're out in the sun a lot, you want something to protect your hair and from the environment, you know, the UP rays, I mean, all that stuff. Um, and plus, this helps protect. It makes it softer. Too. Well, I, don't know. I love it. I love it all. I mean, I've been using this for, for a while now, and I can't tell you, talk about it. I get so worked up about it because I love it. Um, but this, this, the travel kit comes in this nice little package, and it's waterproof inside. Like I said, it's a nice little gift set if you want to take it with you on vacation instead of carrying large bottles of stuff. I love it. It used to take me like 30 minutes to, 20 to 30 minutes, no no exaggeration, to comb out my hair. I mean, yeah, it's long and it's kind of thick. And like I say, it's curly. And when I would wash it with a really expensive shampoo too, um, time I got with the shampoo and the conditioner, I would still have to put on another spray for tangles to try to comb my hair. And I would still have knots like this, you know, up in here. And I'd be, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, it taking me that long to get all the knots out. Now with this stuff, I'm not saying it's not free, but very little. And I can get my hair brushed through three minutes. I've timed it when I first used it. I couldn't believe it. I was in shock. I use this now all the time. I'll never switch back to anything else. So, you know, that's one great thing that we have on, on sale. And I wanted to show you this here is one of our summer items. This is our travel little kit here. Oops, open it up. This is our silicone straws, in case anybody wanted to see what they look like. And they are dishwasher safe. And it comes with a little cleaning brush for your straws. And you get four straws. I mean, they're good size straws. And they're real flexible. Because they're sil silicone. So, they're really nice. And they're not real tiny. So, if you got something you're drinking, like a, a mixed frozen drink and a normal straw, just not getting in. It's making you pucker too much to suck up your drink. This is perfect. You might need another drink by, in a few minutes, you know. But... <laughs> It real, they work nice. So I just want to show that. And I love that it's in its little own package. And this is waterproof also. So if you want to carry these to the beach or to the pool. It has a little drawstring. So close up. So there you go. And I know, Michelle, you missed out on our beach towel that was on sale. The ones that match this. They're no longer. They're gone. But now we have in the warehouse sale beach towel we had from last summer that sold out within really in a few weeks too and this is the little netted bag it comes in and here's the beach towel I just want to show you it's super light it's very lightweight it feels really soft it's almost like a 
suede or velvet. I don't know. It's so wonderful. The feel of this is so soft. And it has a little tag. Just tells you beach. And it has the back lock made in it. But it's really long. Okay, let me touch the floor. Okay, I'm touching the floor. And here it is. So, it might not be as tall as your whole body. But it is big. And, like I say, and the sand will not stick to this. That's the best part. The sand will not stick to this towel. And it's so super absorbent. You get out of the pool. You dry off with this. Throw it on your on your chair. You get back in the pool. Time you get back out. With a matter of minutes, it's dry again. So you don't have to get, lay back down on a wet towel. This dries very quick. It's really pretty. Let me see. I can show the whole design here. So... Michelle, if you want a towel still, you better hop on it, woman. Because these will go quick, too, just like they did before last year. Especially since we already sold out of the, the new style. I was, surprised. I was so surprised when this came out in our May warehouse sale. I was in shock. So I'm going to get... I mean, I got a couple of the other ones before they sold out. And I got this one last year, but I only got the one, and they sold out. I was going to get more, but they sold out. <laughs> So I am going to pick up a couple more of these just to have them. But they're very lightweight, and you can shake the sand right. If you take them to the beach, you just shake up the sand right off and roll it, package it back up. Just put it right back inside its own little bag. Very lightweight. These are a lot lighter to carry than a wet beach towel. You know how heavy they can get and how bulky. So let's see. What else? Uh, let's look at these. This is not... A counter cloth but it's similar these are our napkins see they have the same design as our counter cloth but they're square shape and they're napkins so these are great for picnics or in the house to I me mean, buy a few and you just fold them up and, or if you have a napkin holder you could just stack it up but these come in a set of four the two of the peach color and two of the teal color and these also have the back lock made in them. These are really nice. So I don't know how long we'll have these. They just came out this in the spring catalog. So just want to make sure I showed them. And I think, I don't know if we can still get, this is the, uh, this came out in the spring catalog also. Uh, just another design of our window cloth. But look at it. It's so pretty. It's like a sunset, like you're on a beach in the ocean, the sun setting. I love this design. And once again, the window cloths have our backlock technology made in them. So they're going to self purify in 24 hours. So let's see. I just want to make sure I show you a variety of different things. And I showed you the travel and viral cloths. Now we have a, what we call our MVP our microfiber variety pack. And then here we have a travel size, we have a travel size window cloth. Isn't it cute? Then we have the travel size enviro cloth. And you have a travel size body cloth. So this is something you can take when you're going away for the weekend or for a week, it doesn't matter. If you're used to using these, you want to take something with you that's not so large and you still have everything you need you can keep this set in your car or carry it in your purse especially the travel enviro you don't have to wet it to make it work it still works even dry take these to the grocery store with you when you go so you can wipe off the handles it removes the bacteria off the handle i know they're spraying them with stuff but they're spraying them with chemicals so you're still getting you know they might be spraying it with i don't know what they're spraying but I always take my Enviro cloth with me and wipe off the handle before I touch it. So, and then you would have your um, face and body cloth to wash your body and your face. And a window cloth is great for your car. You'd be surprised how nice your, your rear view mirror and your side mirrors and your windows look when you clean them with this window cloth. Well, not just this one, a regular size window cloth. They will be great. Um, let's see. Let me see what am I hoping that. Okay, so first of all, 
this right here. This is one of, this is our host rewards. Let's talk about that real quick. Look at this dusty mitt. Look at that amethyst color. Isn't it beautiful? And here is the amethyst window cloth, floor cloth that goes matches. And here is the amethyst and viral cloth. These are part of the host rewards for May, depending on how many bookings you get from your party. So you want to try to get three, of course. But if you get one, you get the window cloth. You get two, then you get both of these. You get the Enviro cloth and the Dusty Mitt to go with your window cloth. So two bookings, you get all three of these. You get a third booking. Oh, you get, let me see here. The little mini, isn't it cute? This is our optic scarf. The optic scarf will remove 99% of bacteria too. This is what you use to clean your glasses. You just take it and you know, wipe off your glasses. Oh my God, it makes them so shiny and clean. You use it to clean your glasses. You use it to clean your screen on your phone. You can use it to clean your laptop screen. It has multiple uses. A lot of our things do, it's not just one thing. And also I love them because they have a little hook on them. And we have all kinds of these in the book. They're different designs. But this here you would get free if you had three bookings, if you host a show. And you can just hook this on the side of your purse. You got, Then you always got it with you to clean your glasses and to clean your phone. So that makes it really nice. You just hang on back real quick. Let's see. Oh, I can't forget this. This here is a Chanel hand towel. It's so soft. You have to see how it is. And these have a little, little handle. They, this is for your bathroom or kitchen. I have them in both. And it has the back lock made in them. And you just pat them to dry your hands. Instead of using a towel, you use this Chanel towel. This is really nice. This is the denim color. And some of these, I think they have a couple still in the book. Uh, in, the, in the retired product list or even in the warehouse sale. It has a design on them. This one, see this one, this is our, this is like a tan or gray, it's a light gray. And I'll flip this one over and show you. This one actually was from Christmas. This has a pine cone on it. See that? So I could use, see, you just flip this like around the back of your rod in your bathroom or on your rod or handle on your dishwasher or your oven and you just flip it through and you can hang it, simple as that, very easy to do, and you want to make sure you hang it right. <laughs> but if you have a design, that holiday is gone. Oh, what am I going to do with my towel now? I don't want to have a pine, call, pine cone all summer showing, so I just flip it around and then hang it back the other way, hang it back through. Now it's just plain, so these are very nice to have. And we have some that are for kids that have animals. I, didn't, I forgot to bring one up. I have one downstairs. Um, they have a head on them. Like we have a dragon. We have um, a unicorn. I mean, there's several. They're really cute. And they hang the same way. Oh, no, those have a little hook. Not a hook, but a little tab that you hang by because of the head. Uh, but they're really adorable. And my grandsons love just patting these, you know, they're very soft. So that's another thing for your kitchen and bathroom. And we also have a stainless steel cloth. This is a stainless steel cloth. This is really tight ribbing on one side. I don't know if you can see it or not. And then this side, it's very smooth and soft. So you would just take your bottle I don't have my bottle here. And you would spray with a little bit of water or you could take your Enviro cloth wet and wipe all the dirt off. And then you take this, if it's something really stuck on, you use the rib side to clean it. You use the other side, the softer side is what you wanna polish it with. So it makes your stainless really shiny.
so it's very nice to have. If you have stainless steel appliances, you'll love it. So let's see, let's go back over here for a second too. Okay, so let me hang up my, I'll just, I'll just move them out of the way. I won't waste time hanging stuff. I'll do that later. Um, kitchen. We already talked about our counter cloths for the kitchen. This is our fruit and veggie scrub mitt. Not mitt, but the cloth. I'll show you the mitt in a second. I mean, this is, you can hear it. See it scratchy? This will really clean your veggies good and your fruit. And the other side is really soft. This is really soft on one side and scrubby on the other. The reason they have it soft on one side, some people like to polish their fruit and, or dry it. You can dry it with the soft side too. Um, so you can take this and if you have apples, potatoes, or cucumber, or zucchini, whatever. I love this for my zucchini because I can rub this across my zucchini. I don't have to. If I don't like the skin on it, I can clean it really good with this, just by having this wet and rubbing my zucchini through it. I peel what I want away, just with this. I don't have to worry about getting a peel around. And this is really great for mashed, not but the mashed potato, when you're making mashed potatoes. So if you want to clean your potatoes, I, I use it then too. So I don't have to worry about, you know, getting this peeler. I use this and just clean them really good. It takes all the little, what they call them, buds or... I don't know, the little nubby things that they're, where they're rooting out, if they have any of those on it, it removes the dirt. And you don't have to peel away the whole skin. I mean, the skin is what's got your vitamins in it. So it cleans them really well and great for carrots too. So we have the cloth and we also came out with a mitt. Same concept. Here, it, but both sides of the mitt are scrubby. It's soft on the inside where your hand goes, but these are nice too. Or you can just hold on to the vegetable and clean it with this. And we also have the, the vegetable spray, the fruit, the produce spray. That's what I use all the time. I think I took it downstairs already. Uh, I was showing people yesterday a demo um, or the other day. But the produce spray, you, you can squirt your vegetables with it. Or you can pour a little bit in a bowl of water or pan, whatever you get them soaking in, like especially your strawberries or um, bell peppers, things like that, or blueberries. You just spritz them, or you can pour a little in. It doesn't take much. And let the vegetables soak if you've got them in a bowl, and you'll be amazed at what you get off of those. You just pull them out of there, and look at that water. You're going to say, why haven't I cleaned my vegetables before? Same with your fruit. You can just spray them with the sprayer, and then wipe them with a cloth to get all that off. Because, you know, people are touching that fruit, too. You know, it's not all been just automatically clean for you. And it's no one else has touched it. It's been in the, the farm. It's been picked by hand or machinery. Then it comes to the groceries and uh, people that display their vegetables. If it's not already bagged, and even if it's bagged, you got to wash it. And people are always handling it like watermelons. They're in a box. I go to the grocery. I'll pick the first one up on top. I might see one, three down. I want better. So I move them. So everybody does that. And so everybody's touching that. You don't know where, if their hands are clean. And, and I don't want to know where their hands have been. So I always bring it home and I clean it before I cut it or before we eat it. So, and same, same thing with the, the vegetables that you buy in a bag that are pre-cut. It says it's pre-washed, but you put it in a bowl and wash it and pour a little of our produce wash in there. You'll be amazed if all the dirt that comes off that vegetable. So, and then you just clean it with that. Let it soak in it for a few minutes. Then you dump that water out and you pour fresh water on. And then you let it sit in there for a minute and just move it around. And then I do that several times to make sure until I know my water is clean. You know, I don't see any more dirt. So, just things that you can do to help better your family's life and your input of what you're eating and ingesting and you don't want all the chemicals in your body the chemicals can cause a lot of harm um there's been i've got so many posts i could do i may still do about um tells about the chemicals that are in things and uh gives you numbers of like the baby before their baby's even born i mean they're your mother's ingesting all these chemicals she's cleaning with this stuff she's 
buying it. She isn't eating it or whatever, but now the study has shown it's, it's like 268 or 278 chemicals in the core blood of the baby before the baby's even born. So as soon as the baby's born and they, that core blood, I mean, they've already got all that toxic in their system before they're even out in the air, which is sad. And it's the way we live these days. And uh, people back in 50, 100 years ago, they were all no chemicals. So today, one out of three people will get cancer. And one out of two are usually women. So just so you know. But there's a lot of things that are bad for you. Everybody knows that. Everything, I think, is bad for you nowadays anyway. How they cook or make it. But we're trying to make it better for us. So, that's the Norwax way. <laughs> so, let's see what else we have. Uh, oh, while we're still in the kitchen, let's see. Here's our pot scrubber. It's got a little handle on it. I think this is in the retired product list. You can still get it. It's just our spear net, but it's got a little handle made on it already. It's pot scrubber. And then we have our netted dishcloth, which everybody loves when they get it. And it's good size. It's 17 by 17 inches. This is what I use to wash my dishes. So you just wad it up. Put a little dish liquid on it. I use Norwex dish liquid, though. So there's nothing in it that's going to harm me. So, um, but this will, it's almost like a scrubber, but it's very soft. It takes no time to clean a pot that has something burnt in on it. It's nice to clean your Pampered Chef items that, you know, they say you can't put soap on those. So you just wet this with water and clean your Pampered Chef stuff, you know, your stones. And then like uh, burnt on pizza or whatever, uh, baking, you know, the pans that Pampered Chef make. You can't put any cleaning solutions on it, just water. So this really takes a lot of it all the all the stuff that's built up on them over the years you'll be surprised what comes off if you have this i love it i know michelle loves it <laughs> she's the first one of the things she tried <laughs> so and this comes in um this is our graphite gray and they come in a pack of two and it's 17.99 for a pack of two i know it sounds like a lot but this will last you for a very long time and if you think this is too large, you can cut these. You can cut it down in half. You can cut it in fourths. However you cut it, it's fine because it will not unravel. Now, this does not have the backlock made in it because it's full of holes. So, we couldn't, they couldn't put the backlock in these. But still, this is great to do your dishes. It's great to clean your car headlights with. Uh, like I said, this is another multi-purpose product. And it dries very fast. So you just use it. I use this too in my sink when I'm cleaning my vegetable. Or if I'm something I'm cutting, I throw this down into my sink. If I am actually peeling potatoes or popping beans or whatever, uh, I have this down inside the sink. So anything I cut, I don't have to use my hand to break it up and throw it away. I take it, my cloth, pull it up by all four corners, and it's all inside my cloth. Then I take it the cloth to the trash can and dump it and just shake it out. Done. Don't have to worry about wiping the stuff out of the sink. Then I just rinse this out really well and hang it to dry. And it dries within a matter of minutes. It's dried. So it's a great cloth to have to do your dishes. And like I say, if you think it's too large, you can cut it in half. It won't unravel. Buy a pack. You, don't, you only need one for, for a long time, especially if you're going to cut in half. Give, give the other cloth to a friend or relative. Let them see how great it is. Uh, let's see what else we have here. We have our, this is the Enviro sponge. If you can't get away from using sponges, this is a dish sponge. It's very soft, you know, flexible. It's like an Enviro cloth on this side. You can see. This side is a little scrubby, so it makes it nice. You can hear it scratching. So it's just a matter of what your preference is. If you can't stop wanting and you need to have a sponge, you think you need a sponge, this is a great sponge to use. But I never have been a sponge person. I always had a dishcloth. So, but until now, it's the netted dishcloth. 
it's great okay um and this here this is this comes in the pink and it comes in a graphite gray this is our for the bathroom it's scrubby on this side and it comes it's, like, it's like a slate and you need to take your hand you divide your pink fingers in between see that line so you're holding on it's a mitt so this is our scrub mitt for the bathroom one side scrubby the other side soft furry this is to clean your walls and your shower to clean the shower doors this is great because it will scrub away the the scum on the walls and on the in the glass shower doors this is so nice to have and you just rinse it out hang it to dry and it's got its own little hook to hang by i think you can still get it in the pink and the graphite gray now i have a blue one but this was a this was a limited edition as a host special hostess reward special a while back but i got that too i like it I like them all, but I, in my bathroom, I actually have the gray one in my bathroom. What time is it? I don't know. Okay, we still have 30 minutes. I don't know how long you girls are going to stay on, but <laughs> let me get a drink. <laughs> it's because I have until 11 o'clock, which I didn't know. Just trying to think of what I really want to show you. Um, let's see. I'm... I know I'm going everywhere, but this is our microfiber booster. This goes with our laundry detergent also. This is nice. Um, this is when your your cloths get really dirty. Um, we recommend you, you wash them when you, you, know, you need to, of course, but like I say, filler-free detergent. And like, if you smell them and you think, oh, it's stinking, what's wrong with it? It needs to be washed. It may even need to be deep cleaned. And our deep clean is when we use this. This here, it only takes a little bit. And I always add it with my laundry detergent. I just fill my sink up with hot water and I throw all my Enviro cloths, my face and body cloths, my counter cloths, anything that I know needs to be cleaned, I do it all at one time. I stick it all in that hot water in the kitchen sink, pour a little bit of my powdered detergent and a scoop of this and I just swirl them around Get them all agitated really good and let them sit. And you're going to notice, you're going to think, it's not cleaning because I don't see a lot of bubbles. You're not going to see a lot of bubbles with the Norwax detergent because there's no fillers. The fillers are what makes the bubbles. So don't get thinking it's not working because you don't see a lot of bubbles. You won't see a lot of bubbles. So you'll see a little, but they'll go away pretty quick. It's not like what you're used to. Um, but this here will help deep clean the cloth. We recommend this, you know, every few weeks, you know, a little bit if you need it, but you don't have to use this every time you clean them. But if they're stinking, you absolutely need to wash them with the laundry detergent. What we recommend at least every six months to use this, but you can use it every time you clean them if you want to, but you want to do a deep clean every six months on your cloths and you usually wash them every couple weeks. You wouldn't want to go more than that, I don't think. I do mine like every two weeks, two and a half weeks. So, then we also have our Ultra Zine. This is our powdered dish deter or dishwasher detergent. This is also no chemicals. So, it doesn't have anything on there that's going to maintain on your plates. Because you don't know what's on your plates using normal store-bought detergents. For your dishwasher I don't think I they could say you could lick your plates after using this because there's nothing on them it's clean there's nothing that's gonna stay on your plates it washes the dishes really great it uses a very tiny scoop I don't know if this is open or not yeah okay let me show you the scoop size oops smells good this is the scoop size it's I don't know if you can even tell that way it's a small scoop. So I just use this one little scoop. I just fill one scoop up per load of my dishes. And I mean the dishwasher is full. And I use one little scoop and everything turns out nice and clean. Have that. Show this back up. And then 
We also have the dishwasher rinse. This is a rinse aid. This comes in a 12 ounce size bottle. So this goes with this, but you don't have to use this. If you're not using a rinse aid now, you really don't. it's up to you. I mean, but this will make your glasses really spotless. Uh, it works really nice. bathroom cleaner. This has an enzyme in it. So this is great for bath to clean in your bathroom to get rid of all the germs. And this is also dilutable. You, I think you use one ounce or two ounces. Let's see. Uh, let me make sure. Uh, da, 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 da. One ounce. One ounce of this to seven ounces of water. And this, and this is a 12 ounce bottle. So you're going to get pretty, you're going to get a lot of bottles of cleaning supply out of this but if it's inside the toilet I don't dilute it there's a little another little cap that you can get for, that comes with it it's like a little squirt cap and I just pour a little bit on my toilet brush or around inside the rim and scrub so but if it's like if I'm using this inside or around the floor or you know you can dilute this and I have some here in my forever spray bottle and I use this in my bathroom I spray around the, the counters with it I spray around the floor I can spray this in my shower and clean with my scrub bit I use this to clean everything in my bathroom it's not just a, but you can clean a lot of stuff with this it's not just bathroom cleaner but it's great especially if you have guys <laughs> you know you can spray this around the face of the toilet and up the you know the wall of the toilet the seat and stuff and if you have the um bio cloth and most people have more than one in bio cloth one they use mainly for bathrooms even though it's not going to trans you already seen whatever's on that cloth it's not going to transpose onto something else but still i don't know i don't want to use my bio cloth in the bathroom toilet around the toilet and use it in my kitchen it's just you know it just don't seem right but I know I can if I want if I had to but I have multiple EnviroCloths and you use your EnviroCloth with this you'll be shocked to see how clean things are and then you can always use your window cloth to finish up your counter make it shiny and your faucets so this is great because it is you can dilute it and make multiple size bottles and I love my sprayer because the spray itself it sprays two different ways. A stream, if I keep this shut. I don't know if you see that. Did you see that, that the lid opens? See that little thing there? If I close it, it comes out in a foam. If I open it, it'll spray like a normal spray. And you can adjust the spray too. And you can turn it off with this too. But if you leave the little flap closed, it's foams, which is nice. So we have that. Let me see. What else? We we make hand sanitizer, which is great. I carry it in my purse all the time. Um, let me show you some more stuff for the kitchen or this. This is new. This is our mini um, cleaning kit. This is awesome. Travel with this. Take it on vacation with you. You have something to get rid of stains. So it comes with a little tube of the cleaning. This here is the cleaning paste, but it's it's a lotion. So it's a cream. I should say it's not a lotion. It's a cream. So this, if you got a stain on your shirt from spaghetti or whatever, and you're out, you have this in the car. You can just take this and wet your. It comes with a little small travel size and bio cloth. You can just dab this on, wet this a little bit, and wipe it right off. Then if it's a bigger stain, you put this on whatever's dirty. You have a little handy brush, cleaning brush. So you can dip this in some water and scrub away. This this thing is really nice to have to travel. You never know when you're gonna need something like this. This would be nice to have in the car, especially if you have children or grandchildren and they drop their ice cream on your car seat and it's cloth. This will get it out, even if it's chocolate. Or if you spill a glass of Kool-Aid or whatever, wine, you know, this is good. 
and you're on a vacation and you're in a condo that you don't own and you want to make sure you get that wine stain up so you get your deposit back, this would be great. So we have that. Then we have a, a hand cleaner. This hand cleaner is great. It's, I'm going to show you. I don't know if you can see it. Whoops. It's, it's more than a sanitizer. It actually cleans your hands. So you just take it and rub it between your hands. It's a hand cleaner. So if you're going out and you're out in a car, you just got gas and you know, and you don't have any hand sanitizer, you've got a hand cleaner. It makes it nice. And then you know your hands are clean and sanitized if you're ready to go eat dinner. Oh, uh, let's see what else do I have here. We we think nose, we think nose. 1032. Does anybody have anything they want to look at while I'm thinking about what else I could talk about? I, like I say, we have the rubber brush. Everybody gets this when they get a mop or, you know, this is not just for your mop though. It, you use it on your dustment, you build up static electricity. But like I say, you can just rub your dustment together. But this is also great if you have dogs with long hair or cats or the cat hairs and dog hairs everywhere, use this to help brush it off your furniture, brush it off your clothes, brush it off your coat, brush hairs off your animal. This is great, a dog grooming brush. They love it. They'll sit still, they'll let you brush them with this and this will just collect all the dog hairs. It's awesome. Uh, how about some kitchen stuff? We have our silicone lids. These are the small ones. They come in a set of four. These are nice to take with you on vacation. So if you're sitting out on the patio or on the, you know, patio, whatever, I guess. I can't think of what else to call it but a patio. At the condo, you're out on the balcony. That's what it is. Um, and you're out there. You don't want the bugs in your drinks or in your coffee. You take these and lay it over top of your glass to keep the bugs out and keep it. And if it's something hot, it will keep them warm. Keeps your coffee warm, your tea warm, your soup warm, you know. That's the small set, it comes in a pack of four. And here's a larger set, comes in two. It comes with this, this size, and it comes with the larger size. It comes in different colors. Now I have all of these downstairs hanging. I use them all the time. These are great, they're microwave safe, they're dishwasher safe, they're oven safe up to 466 maybe. Not four, not 500, but 466 I think. But they're awesome. You can use them to cover up your stuff as you're baking. Or once they're baked and you need a lid for something that you don't have a lid to, this makes a great lid. Store stuff in a refrigerator with this lid. They have great suction. They will keep everything nice and fresh. And here's the other color. This, bright, this red green and the blue. But I, I really like these a lot. I use mine all the time. Let me double check and see what it said. Yeah. I oh, okay, it says. Oh, da, da, da. You can use a refrigerator, microwave, oven, dishwasher safe. Um up to 400 and oh, I'm sorry, 446. Not 450, but 446. <laughs> so for 375 or 400, they work great. And they also come in the square. I think this is, I don't know if they keep in these or not, but this is a square shape. So if you're baking, you know, these are nice. And some people use them like on their cookie sheet, the longer one, they have one that's long, the long, like a nine by 11 or whatever. Um, it lays it in their cookie sheet. And if they put a rack in there over top of it, any drippings go into this, which will wipe right off instead of it getting down inside on your pan. And we have a great, this is our cutting board. These are really nice. It's heavy duty and it has a rubber seal on the back to keep it from sliding off in your cutting. It's not gonna move off on your counter. It's gonna stay in place and it has a, a indentation around so if it's something juicy it's not gonna run off it runs down into this little track so these are really nice to have 
This is made from, it's eco-friendly, it says. It's made from rice husk. Rice husk. So this is very sturdy. This is going to last you a lifetime. And it comes in the large and the small. I think this, I don't know if this is the large or the small one. Um, I have to look. I think this is the large one. We have our collapsible storage containers. Let me just show you these real quick because I know I'm almost out of time. They come in a pack of two. This is a small set. The lid's locked down. Comes off. You just push them out. And you push it back. Close it. These are really nice. And these are microwave safe. And this has like a little vent in it. The lid. So... These say they're a pack of two. This is a small set. The lids just snap on. I love these. They're great. I mean, they're so easy to use. And the storage space you're going to save by having something that collapses. You know, it's, it's awesome. So, and here's the large set. Let me show you the larger ones. I don't want to run out of time. Like I say these are silicone. This is the small set. These two are the small set. And this is the larger set. I love this plum color. I'm a purple girl at heart. So there's that one. And they just snap down. Very easy. And here's the largest one. There's a large one. Okay. So these, I, I just like because they're collapsible, like I say, and you can stack them. So you're saving a lot of space in your cabinet. Let me take this air out of here so I can fold this one back down. But yeah, these are dishwasher safe. Let me make sure. I think these are all dishwasher safe, microwave safe. Um, choo -choo 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 -choo. Yeah, microwave safe. The only thing you don't put in the microwave is the lid, though. The lid doesn't go in there. But the container itself, you can put in the microwave. So, that's our silicone storage containers. This is the large and those others was a small. And I'll have to look up. I can't remember how much they hold. I think one holds four cups. The large one holds four cups. Uh, it's freezer safe, microwave safe, water resistant, dishwasher safe. So there's, it's great. Uh, of course, you're not going to sit it on any flames because it would melt. <laughs> Because this tells you on the back, no flames. I don't think anybody's going to put plastic or, or silicone on a flame. But just in case, they want to make sure they're covered that you know not to do that. So that's some of the kitchen stuff. And let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did that. Okay, we have a... This hair is nice. This is our lint mitt. It removes lint off your clothes, dog hairs, cat hairs, or that. and you don't want to use a rubber brush all the time. If you are out and about and you see, oh, I got some lint here, and you want to clean up yourself, you know, this is great. And it's nice to use on your, on your lamp shades. Go around and get all the lint off of your shades. And so is the dusting, but it's nice for your lamp shades too. And we have uh, also... Lazare hand lotion, which is really nice. This is, um, it smells wonderful. I love how this stuff smells. You would love it. It's not overpowering either. It's not like a perfume smell. It's just really nice. So let's put this back over here real quick. Uh, I know we're running out of time. Before I forget, I've got 15 minutes. Let me do my other demo. Hopefully my water's not too cold. It's a little bit warm still. Not much, but let me find. Da, 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 da. What did I do with my 
I'll just use one of these cloths. I didn't bring mine in here. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to take a face and body cloth, the new one out of the pack. And I'm going to put it in my bowl of water right here. And I got a, I got a lot of stuff going on here, girls. <laughs> so, oh, Michelle, do you see what bracelet I have on? I have my uh, bracelet Michelle made me. She's so good. It's beautiful. This is for my grandchildren. I got eight. <laughs> so, I, well, this is a, we've both been married once before. So, we have some kids. We got some kids and grandkids. But really only three children. Or four children, as you say. Two of me and two of him. But one daughter of his has four, four kids. And the other one has two. My daughter has one. And my son has none. But this is my bracelet that Michelle made. It's beautiful. So, Go to her and look for some jewelry. It's stretchy. You can get it stretch or you can get it where it's hooked. I like the stretchy. But okay, so here's my body cloth. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just wet it. Hopefully it's warm enough. And I'm gonna fold it. Like everything, you wanna fold it a couple times. And I'm just gonna lay this on my eye. Hopefully you can see me. I know I'm not close enough. I got a table between me and my phone. And I'm going to wipe. And it's going to wipe off my mascara. And then it's going to wipe off my face. Oh yeah, it's coming off. I wish I should have got a lighter color, but I think this is working. I think you should be able to see. Uh, hopefully you can see the makeup on my cloth. I can, but it's there. And that's all you need. Remove your makeup. You don't need to buy any uh, cleansers or gels or anything to soak on your eyes or on your face. This is it. A cloth and water to remove all your makeup. You just want to lay it on your eye for a couple seconds because your eye is a you know, fragile place. You don't want to rub real hard on your eye. So you give it time for the cloth to go to work. The silver threading is what's going to break down all of the makeup. So, and you can always flip it around. If you got a lot on and you see your cloth is getting really dirty, you can always, that's why you fold it in half and fold it in half again. So you have eight clean sides. I wish you could see this. Hopefully you can. I don't know. I don't know what angle. To, I wish my light was working. It seems not working for some reason. But anyway, so that's what I do every night. And every morning I take my cloth. Fold it away again. And I clean my face. So now I have no makeup on. That's simple. I don't have to scrub and scrub and scrub or get any cotton balls or worry about something burning my eyes. This is it right here. And I just rinse it out and hang it to dry and it's ready to go again in the morning. So uh, just wanted to share that with you. And like I say, I do have eyeliner. So if you see that, that's permanent. <laughs> So I hope everybody enjoyed the show and had a lot of fun. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like samples of the window cloth and body cloth, not body cloth, the window cloth, the Enviro cloth, and some laundry detergent, that, that's the samples I send to my guest. Now, if you were to host a party, you would get more samples. You would get a full-size body cloth. You would get samples of the um, shampoo and conditioner. And you would get a sample of the netted dishcloth. Um, and you get a sample of the cleaning paste. So there's more samples that go to my hostess. Just so you know. Host a party and you can try all this stuff. And plus you can get all kinds of products for free. I mean, everybody loves, after they host a party, how much free products that Norix gives them. So just something to think about. And I will talk to you all and see your posts when I get off of here. I'll go down if there's any questions and I make sure I answer every one of them. I appreciate you sitting with me for two whole hours. That's awesome. Everybody have a great night or evening, wherever you are. And I will talk to you all later. Thanks again. Good night. Bye-bye.